Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You are watching for Rutaik. This is our Nothing Phone 1. It's running on very old Nothing OS 2.5.3 hotfix update from last one month. It's a old update with very old security patch of February month. But two days before, Nothing team has started to roll out this new Nothing OS 2.5.5 update. This is 180 MB of small size update, but nothing has done lots of improvement in this update with this changelog. So to do install this update on our device and we are going to review its complete changelog. We will show you in depthly special features of this new update so watch this video carefully till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure. Once flashing process gets completed, if you jump to the about device details, you can check device firmware now updated to the new nothing OS 2.5.5. Build number of this update is space for U2 19th April 2024. Last build was on the 1st April 2024. Its version number is 2.5.3 hotfix. So this is also the same Android 14 build, but the security patch of this update is of May 2024. While old build was on the 1st February 2024 with security patches. I can't understand it's a bug or what because till the date new security patches of the May 2024 aid to be released by the Google but how nothing has managed to go out these security patches. Except these other things are same like old build. Now it's time to check all the new changes in details. First big change is the Nothing team integrated the new chat GPT interface in the user interface so we can easily access it now for more productivity. We have to install the latest version of chat GPT from the Play Store, open it, set up and give all the permissions to the application. Now we can add different widgets of chat GPT on the home screen. You get the two widgets for the chat GPT like multiple and single one. Multiple widget can give direct access to the chat GPT application there you can do voice search, image and written text search. But if you want all these search options directly via widgets then select the single option. Now you get the three different widgets options like voice, text and the image search widgets separately. You can add most likely way of search widgets as per your need. All your old search queries done via voice, text and images are available in the search summary of the chat GPT. But to use the image search, you need the premium access of the chat GPT+. Next Nothing team has added the new direct chat GPT search tab in the screenshot menu. After tapping this option, ChatGPT will check that image and shows us the search result as per the image or the text highlighted in the image. Next, ChatGPT incorporated the features like new gesture option to activate the voice conversation with the ChatGPT. These are only available for the Nothing Year 1 and Nothing Year A birds only via exclusive Nothing X audio control application. In this way, ChatGPT is deeply integrated in the new Nothing OS to access it easily anywhere. Under the home screen customizations for the Nothing icon pack, team has added the new toggle called as Apply to Home Screen Only. This will give the new monochromic theme to only dock applications icon on the home screen but not for the app drawer application. So you can easily search the applications in the app drawer because Nothing monochromic theme icon causes some problem for the users to find out their specific applications. Next in this new update, now you can scroll the home page with the swipe to move the application icons into different home pages of the launcher, which was not possible in the previous build. Next under the lost screen option of the setting, who gets the new quick setting toggle after toggling it on, who can able to access the QS panel on the lost screen of the device. Similarly, under the display option and the status bar, who can enable or disable the different status bar icons. Some new options are available here like internet speed that is a network traffic indicator also. Next, the new feature added by the team is a new RAM boost under the system setting. It's a virtual RAM, not an original expansion of the RAM. It uses some storage of the SD card as a virtual RAM. 
who can expand the RAM by 2, 4 and 8 GB. After selecting this, we need to reboot the device to make the effect work. Next, now device is using the AI algorithms to efficiently manage the screen auto brightness as per the environment around the device and maintaining the accurate lux values. Next, team has reordered the QS panel tiles for improved accessibility of the tiles. Along with this, new animations were added for the tiles which are looking nice while switching the toggles. Next, nothing theme has optimized the response for the Bluetooth toggling in the QS panel for the quicker interactions. New volume panel has the quick switch toggles for the volume on and off vibrate toggles. Volume panels has new slider look which looks nice. Actually, this volume panel setting already available from the last build. Next, under the customization, we get the new AI generated wallpapers. But to get this, we need to update the Nothing Wallpaper applications via Play Store. Similarly, we get some new Nothing Wallpapers as you can check in the video. So these are all the changes done by the nothing team now comes some fixes done first one is the fixer the wafer gets automatically disconnected previously sometimes but now this issue is fixed next team has fixed the volume synchronization of the device with the earbuds previously it's not correctly synchronized the earbuds can't able to adjust the volume of the device similarly the fixer the audio didn't get switched to the connected nothing watch when you get the call I don't have the nothing was so I can't able to show you it currently. Next the fixer the lack of vibration app takes feedback for the back gesture. So this is all about this new nothing was 2.5.5 performance and the battery life of this update is top notch. As per my usage you will get nearly 5 to 6 hours of SOT with the 17 to 20 hours of total users timing. I got these results with the normal users without too much gaming and the camera use. As per my recommendation, this is the best update for this device till the date. So this is all about the today. If you think this video helped you, then please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content for nothing phone one and all new mods. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye. Small town, you took my heart from me. Now you're everywhere.